Predator Orion 3000 The Acer Predator Orion 3000 comes with an all-black case with RGB accents that look stylish and it's also very compact and easy to fit into tight spaces. This desktop tower is small enough to fit on your desk next to your monitor and it has a number of front-facing ports that are easy to reach. Even though it is small, the internal parts are not crammed together. In fact, the machine has a lot of space inside, which helps the frost blade fans work better. The RGB effects are pretty cool, and the front frost blade fan face is in between two light bars and everything is lit up with customizable RGB lighting. The second fan in the back works with the front frost blade fan to keep working temperatures down. The RGB is a lot of fun to look at, and you can change its effects, color, speed, and more with the Predator Sense app that comes with it. Once you load up some games, you find that the Orion 3000 is more than just a pretty face. Powered by an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 and an Intel i7-11700F 8-core processor with 16GB of RAM and a 1TB SSD, this gaming PC can handle crisp 4K gaming, while often meeting a smooth 60fps threshold. Not only will this desktop be a high frame rate 1080p performance for breakfast, but it's also no slouch at 4K either, with many recent titles hitting and maintaining 60fps a high resolution. This PC is also VR ready and if you own a VR device, you can be sure that graphically demanding VR titles will run superbly on the Predator Orion 3000. All in all, the Acer Predator Orion 3000 is an excellent gaming PC that offers a lot of value for its price, and if you're in the market for a new gaming rig, it's got the power, the design, and pretty much everything you could need in a new gaming PC. HP Omen 25L This is an affordable gaming rig that promises to deliver high-performance gaming at a reasonable price. The Omen 25L has a simple but nice design with a matte black or white finish, with a clean and modern look that will fit in nicely with any gaming setup. Under the hood, the Omen 25L comes with an AMD 6-core Ryzen 5 5600G processor with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 graphic cards. This setup works well with most current games, giving you high frame rates and a smooth experience. It also has 512GB of SSD storage and 16GB of XMP DDR4 RAM for quick and fast performance. The Oman 25L can keep up with some more expensive gaming systems, and it can even do better than some that cost a lot more. This just shows that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a good gaming computer. One thing I really like about the Omen 25L is how well the cables are organized. The inside is clean and well organized and all of the cables are nicely tucked away. This keeps the inside of the PC looking clean and free of clutter, which I think is a big plus. In terms of connectivity, the Omen 25L is everything you need, it's got plenty of USB ports, HDMI port, and even a display port for connecting multiple monitors. And it also has Wi-Fi 6 for fast and reliable wireless connectivity. Overall, the HP Omen 25L gaming PC is an excellent choice for anyone looking for a high-performance gaming rig without breaking the bank. It's got a simple design, excellent performance, plenty of connectivity options, and a solid option for high-end performance at a reasonable price point. The Acer Nitro 50 is a budget gaming PC aimed at players who want to get into PC gaming without breaking the bank. First of all, the Acer Nitro 50 is a compact and stylish tower that should look good in any setup for just $600. The front is made of sleek black plastic with a red LED lighting strip and the rest of the body is finished in matte black paint and there's also a good amount of ventilation on the sides and top so you won't have to worry about overheating during long gaming sessions. When it comes to ports and connectivity, the Acer Nitro 50 has all the essentials including USB, 3.2 Type-C ports, Ethernet, and HDMI ports. And there's also built-in Wi-Fi 6E for wireless connectivity as well. Specs-wise, we have the 12th Gen Intel Core i5 processor which is a 6-core 12-thread CPU that should handle most modern games without a problem. We also have 8GB of DDR4 RAM. 512GB M.2 SSD for storage, and the GPU is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, which is a budget graphics card that can handle 1080p gaming with medium to high settings. Well, you should be able to play games like Call of Duty, Warzone, Fortnite, and Apex Legends, and have it run all of them without any issues. The frame rates are smooth and consistent, even if you turn up the graphic card settings a bit high. Overall, it's really impressive, 
what this machine can do for the price. It's not going to blow you away with high-end performance, but it will definitely let you play modern games at 1080p with good frame rates. And with its compact design and solid build quality, I think it's a great value for anyone looking to get into PC gaming. The Lenovo Legion 5i The Lenovo Legion 5i, on the other hand, gives you respectable performance in even the most demanding games at an affordable price. Design-wise, a single line of RGB lights runs along the top of the interior of the case, illuminating the components behind the glass and the Legion logo on the front of the case has an RGB light behind it. The top of the case has two USB ports, audio in and out jacks, and a power button, and on the rear of the case, you'll find four USB ports and a lone USB-C port, which is a small number when compared to other desktops, but should be sufficient for connecting a keyboard, mouse, and an external hard drive. There's a gigabit Ethernet port if you want a wired internet connection, and Wi-Fi 6 if you don't. Rounding out the specs is an AMD Ryzen 5 CPU, NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super, 8GB of memory, 256GB SSD, and a 1TB HDD for additional storage. The sum of those parts is a gaming PC that can handle 1080p gaming at 60 frames per second with ease, as long as you're willing to tinker with graphics settings for the most resource-intensive games, you might even get away with some 4K gaming on games that don't require every ounce of processing power, but the Legion 5 I just isn't built for 4K gaming anyway. Down the road, if you find you're not happy with the level of performance, you can always buy a more powerful graphics card, gaining improved graphics with more advanced features like real-time ray tracing and better 4K performance. Alternatively, some other Legion 5i models offer better graphics and processor performance out of the box but cost nearly twice as much as the model we mentioned. Overall, the Legion 5i didn't blow us away, but for the money, we don't have much to complain about. For around $900, you're getting a capable gaming computer that pushes pixels perfectly well at 1080 pixels and provides an enjoyable gaming experience. MSI Aegis RS the MSI Aegis RS Model 11 TF223 US has the largest desktop enclosure of any gaming desktop we mentioned, but it's arguably the best looking as well. It's loaded with high-end components that can keep up with current AAA titles game, but is well spec enough that it should survive the upcoming Onslaught game as well. Inside and out, the entire Aegis RS build is made up of MSI components. The matte black housing has three RGB fans in the front and another RGB fan inside the case that keeps the liquid running through the CPU cooler at a reasonable temperature. On top of the case, you'll find a dedicated LED button that can use to quickly change the RGB colors instead of using the software. Also located on top are the power button, a USB-C port, two regular USB ports, and audio in and out jacks. On the back side of the case is where you'll find plenty of ports. Seriously, there are enough ports here to connect whatever kind of accessories you need. It's also where you'll need to attach the included antennas that provide Wi-Fi 6E connectivity, and if you'd rather go hardwared, there's a 2.5 gigabit LAN port as well. The MSI Aegis RS came equipped with an Intel Core i7-11700K processor, NVIDIA's RTX 3080 Ti GPU, 32 gigabytes of memory, and a 1TB SSD for the operating system and some games, along with a 2TB HDD for additional storage. If all of those numbers are gibberish to you, just take comfort in the fact you won't have to make any changes or upgrades for at least a few years. Although, if you did want to add more memory or another SSD, the motherboard has space for you to do so. The only downside to the MSI Aegis RS is that the case itself is big. You'll need to find some extra space next to your desk, or you'll need a fairly large desktop if you want to keep it up off the ground. To sum it up, the Aegis RS wasn't the fastest gaming desktop we tested, but in real-world use, it edged out enough to deliver high-end performance for every demanding PC game we threw at it.